Welcome to this video on how to download and install Calibre. This is software that will help you make an ebook. When you put Calibre into Google, you'll probably get the menswear website coming up first, but go down to Calibre ebook management. Here it is, calibre-ebook.com. Click on that and you'll be taken to this website here. There's a number of ways to download. You can go up the top menu here or the download Calibre Blue menu. Either way, it doesn't really matter. But it does matter which type of computer you plan to use Calibre on. Windows is fine for Windows users. Don't worry about the Windows 64, but it takes longer and isn't worth the extra effort. OS X or OS X for Apple users. No one in the class uses Linux or, I would have heard, or Linux or I would have heard it by now. Portable does not refer to iPads or tablets, so don't use Portable. This will not work on an iPad. Only a laptop, a desktop or a notebook computer. So let's, for this demonstration, click on the Windows icon at the top left. You'll get another screen saying download Calibre. You click the main one, opening Calibre you have chosen. Now you can save this file or you can run it sometimes. Either way, it doesn't really matter. If you get the run option, take it. If you just get this save file option, take that as well. And that's going to download to the downloads location. This will take a while to do. So I'm going to take a break now and allow the magic of YouTube to speed things up for you. Okay, I've opened my downloads folder. Up the top I've got Calibre and this version is 2.56. Double click on it and that'll start the installation process. Welcome to the Calibre setup wizard. When the license agreement comes up, click on this checkbox to accept the license agreement and install. Click this button down near the bottom. Don't worry, you're not giving up your firstborn. It's a benign agreement. It's free, it's safe. Going through the pump prompts. Okay, it says that it's completed the Calibre setup and it's asking me if I want to launch Calibre when I click finish. Some of you will get prompts before this is complete to say, do you want to use this in English? Accept it. Where would you like the Calibre library folder to be installed? That's where your ebooks are going to go. Now you can accept the default location, which will be either in your student folder if you're doing this at uni, or perhaps in My Documents if you're doing it at home. And one other thing you'll get is a request to say, do you want to use these types of defaults? Both of them are generic ebook creation settings. So just accept both and then you'll get to this screen saying finish and we'll launch Calibre. There it is, the Calibre interface. Using this software will import files and convert them into ebooks in the next video. Thank you.